you uh, now are an expert in metabolic and nutritional medicine. I think most people can understand the nutritional part, mm -hmm. but can you further explain what those are? So metabolic and nutritional medicine really is not an established field yet. I view it as an emerging field. Um, but the, the core concept, in my opinion, is that it recognizes that health and well-being is the normal, natural state of the human body. And if we don't have that, the answer doesn't lie in a drug or a surgical modality. The answer lies in treating the human body at its most basic unit, which is at the cell. So the metabolic aspect really reflects on or is a word to describe how the cell functions to do its energy-making processes and to do its detoxifying processes. Uh, that's really all that has to happen to make the body work well. It has to make energy and it has to get rid of the waste. Mm -hmm. And if it does those two things, then you can have robust health. And, and if it doesn't do those things, what are some of the paths that the body can go down? So my, my viewpoint of disease is a little bit different. Um, I view disease as an extreme manifestation of the body's long-term compensation to chronic metabolic insults, chronic mm -hmm. toxicity. So the disease in this perspective is really an adaptation. It is what has to happen to keep you alive despite the fact that you have essentially trashed your body for years. And when you view it from that standpoint, you realize that it's an aberration. So all you really do is start removing these insults, these inflammatory insults, these toxic insults. So wellness through elimination is step one. And as people, as you begin as an individual to remove these toxic things from your life, they may be spiritual, psychological, or physiological, or physical, um, you begin to return toward your normal state of well-being. Now, that doesn't mean that that's all there is to it. Um, there are other things you need to add in. Um, when I first started practicing, I threw a lot of things at people, fancy tests, a lot of vitamins, hormones. And we got somewhere, but not very far. <laughs> and then I discovered that, wait a second, I'm approaching this wrong. They're supposed to be healthy. So maybe we should start looking at what to get out of their life as a first step, low-hanging fruit, to move them down that path. Then you gain momentum. Then you start adding the things that their body needs uniquely for them. Or you start flipping the rocks over, looking at sophisticated mm -hmm. testing to see, are there metabolic pathways that are stuck? Do they have genetic, um, what are called polymorphisms, meaning little changes in their genetic code that make them not, say, metabolize something very well? And at 30 or 40 years of not metabolizing something well can lead to a more toxic state. And then you get into these imbalances, and then people get their diseases. 